this week's video, I want to discuss the John Deere on highway engine. I'm sure a lot of you guys are thinking, John Deere made it on highway engine? And yes, they did. So some of you may have seen it, some of you may have heard about it. Mostly they were in school buses, um, transit city style buses, garbage trucks, um, utility and city vehicles. So the project started in 1994. And went till about 2009. Let's first talk about the history um, and the development of the engine. Starting in 1994, John Deere took the 6081 or six cylinder 8.1 liter engine and modified it to work on CNG or compressed natural gas. They changed the compression ratio, the pistons, the cylinder head, also a few other mod small modifications were done. John Deere partnered with Bluebird Buses to develop the bus chassis. This program was mostly developed for school bus use in California. 110 buses were developed over a three-year partnership with Bluebird Buses. After the three years was over, Thomas Bus started offering the John Deere engines in 1999. After the success of the program, Waste management approached John Deere to see if these engines would work in garbage trucks. Deere started lab testing the 6081 CNG engine for refuse trucks in July of 1999. In August of 1999, a company called Ecotrans installed the first engine into a 1994 Peterbilt P320 garbage truck. The 6081 engine replaced a Cummins 8.3. They also modified the Allison transmission to handle higher torque. After dealing with some interfacing issues between the engine and the truck on the first engine, the first engine went into service October of 1999, with three other units following January, February, and March of 2000. With emissions being lower than expected, even without the catalytic after-treatment, John Deere received the on-highway emissions certification for model year 2001. Now that we've discussed the development and the history of the engine, what manufacturers offered it, these engines weren't offered in all parts of the country and not all models had it. They, John Deere partnered with specific dealerships throughout the country to deal with these engines. So first we have the Type D Transit style school bus, just a standard school bus basically. Had the 250 horsepower, 800 foot pound options were Bluebird All-American RE and Thomas Bus Safety Liner HDX. Transit, commercial buses, city buses basically had either the 250 horsepower with 735 foot-pound or the 280 horsepower with 900 foot-pound models. Options were Bluebird Excel 102, Eldorado National Easy Rider 2, HFX, and Axis 35 and 40 foot. Orion buses, Orion 5 and Orion 7, New Flyer 35 and 40 foot. Uh, truck fleets, had the 250 horsepower at 800 foot-pounds, 275 horsepower at 800 foot-pounds, or 280 horsepower at 900 foot-pounds. Basically all the options. The OEMs for those were Crane Carrier, LCF, and LET2. Finally, Freightliner FL70 had this option. Here's a list of all the servicing dealers for the CNG engines in the U.S. This list is from 2002, so it's, it's a little old. Some of the dealership names have changed. Since this engine was finding success, why did they discontinue it? I found two basic reasons why they stopped this engine. So first of all, John Deere went away from the 6081 into the, 6, the 6090 or the 9 liter, and they didn't really want to go through the trouble of getting the on-highway certification for that. And the second reason, and more importantly, was the 2010 emissions regulations were a lot tighter for emissions and fuel economy, and they didn't think they could meet those emissions regulations, so they just decided to discontinue the engine in 2009. You can still find them in some 2009 options. Um, I've seen some buses online that are 2009 that have this engine option. There are still a few out there on the road. They did have some issues. They had a recall for the turbo on the old, on the early engines. They had like um, it was listed as a recall, but it's kind of um, like a product update for the throttle pedal. They the connector was kind of different. They changed the connector. Some of the common issues on these were spark plugs had to be changed fairly often. The exhaust manifold gaskets would, would blow out, 
and sometimes the bolts would break off in the head. I've done a few of those repairs. I couldn't really find any information about how many of these units were out there or how many were sold or anything like that. So if anybody has anything else that they could add to this, please comment down below, send me an email, that'd be much appreciated. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this history of the John Deere 6081 CNG on highway engine. It's kind of a topic that there isn't a lot of research about. If you look online, there's a couple videos of them running in buses and stuff, but it's kind of interesting. So hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you for watching. Um, if you guys could like and share, that'd be much appreciated.